Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's do my love. Let's do my Leos. Let's do my lions. First half of March, okay? Raw love. Let's see what we get you. You get what you get and you don't get upset. All right, my little lions. What's up with you guys? I feel like you're a little sticky. I feel like you're a little sticky. My love. Five of water. Sticky situation ship. Six of fire. Leo's, Leo's. I think you guys are dealing with a Libra. I can feel it. You got the page of water. And the High Priestess, could be dealing with the Pisces, or that's your own energy. Okay. Leo, Leo, Leo. Ace of Earth and Transformation. You guys got a lot going on. You got love at the bottom of the deck. All right, so you got the Five of Water and the Six of Fire. Page of Water. High Priestess. Oh, she's looking at you guys. He is looking at you, kid. Ace of Earth. Transformation. So, the fact that I was like, he is looking at you, kid. I know it's from a, a movie. I know it's a classic. I can't really think about which one it is. Or is it even a classic? Or is it being home alone? Yeah, see, it's classic because it's, it's from a movie. So... I'm not really sure what that's all about. If somebody wants to comment, that would be fabulous. Because um, that's a big message for somebody. I don't know if it's one of those, like, sayonara, say la vie. I I'm not really sure, okay? But to me, um, right off the bat, you know, it's, it's tricky. Because the five of water, to me, is usually spilt milk, okay? Um, but it could be petty. It could be, tell me about the five of water. Five of water, five of water. I just, before I carry on, I just want to find out what it is. Five of water, five of water. To me, you guys are in Pisces energy. Okay. Um, five of water, five of water. You're going to have a new start with something. Yeah, you're going to give it time. Something's being transformed here. All right. So, I don't know if it was a third party or not. Tell me about the three of cups. Um, for some, you know, he is looking at you, kid. It's probably definitely over. Um, and it's the Ace of Swords with your soulmate, which is right here too. So somebody got the truth. I can't tell what this is trying to tell me yet. Very bizarre. Um, but to me, okay, you're, you're going to move forward and push through there. Some of you got clarity on whatever this is. Some of it is a reconciliation, okay? Because I'm being told that too. Um, I, I think there's some petty stuff here. There's definitely some ego stuff here. But there's something was transformed. Whether it's a relationship or not coming into fruition. See, this is a hello goodbye situation. So this is hello. You know, I'm thinking of Dell right off the bat. You know, and then it's like... Some of you are just like, see ya, I'm done. So, your intuition was telling you something when it has to do with your soulmate, whether it's good or bad. But this is a new stat because something got transformed. So, this, is, this hasn't occurred yet. It will. And I think it's, it's going to bring feelings and... It, it tricky. I mean, you guys really caught me off guard, my little lions. I mean, you you must be tired, okay? Because tell me about the high priestess. Um, I feel like that's you guys' energy, and the high priestess is normally like never like clarity or well, I mean, it's definitely clarity, like spiritual clarity, that type of stuff, like the inner knowing, that type of stuff, okay? But like. When it comes to this, that's, that's different. That has to do with the five of water, something that was upsetting, okay? Something that had to do with the past. 
And now you got the high priestess clarified by the two of wands. So this is like I'm saying, like it could even be a reconciliation because it, it's putting you in a new direction on a new path. And this new path is bringing the ace of earth. There's been a huge transformation when it comes to someone's heart shock or somebody's love, how they feel, how they express. Okay. Um, tell me about transformation. So to me, it's like you have the inner knowing. Whatever's happening in your life right now, you know to, to persevere, to push through. Okay. Um, if it requires time, it requires time. But there's something beautiful here. And it's a matter of getting there, what you're about to. Okay. So the seven of air. So somebody transformed from the seven of air is now the page of water. Okay, so if somebody comes back around, if there's been enough time, space, maturity, consider it is what they're saying. Okay, because to me, it, it's, they're not going to transform you in, in, well, some, like the Asa La Vista, like you want to lie, you want to sabotage, you want to get caught up, see you later. All right, you know better because you transformed. But basically what it's telling me, the person who's got these feelings is transforming. They're no longer in that sabotage energy because they want you to move forward with whatever this is. This Again, this is external energy from you guys. But something has have gone down. Somebody's not happy here. I think it's you guys. I think it's my Leos that are not happy. But be careful your ego doesn't get in the way because this is talking, this is ego, you're getting stopped. This is ego-based energy right here. That's, that's stopping. Tell me about the six of fire. So work on that, okay? Um, yeah, see, it's, it's the five of swords. You feel like it's a lose-lose with the seven of wands reverse. So it, it's like... Yeah, it's like you're done with the five five and the seven of wands. You're not fighting. You're not sticking up for yourself. Nobody lot. Nobody won in this situation. Okay, so to me, it's, it's definitely saying it's ego based. And when you, you, it's hard to move forward if it's based off of ego. Okay, so that's an important important message because it would be a lose lose to definitely sit in this energy. No matter what happened, I, I think this is saying this whatever this is is coming back around. Okay. Um, Tell me about the five of water. Leos, Leos, Leos. So this is something coming back around your way. And I don't know if it's involved with the third. Regardless, you're not, you're not happy about it. Yeah, see so the ace of and six of water. The same two cards. The same two cards. Okay. Big, big message. It's, you know, it's memories. Okay. And then... You know, it's seeing the truth in the situation. It's a new beginning, but it's a challenging new beginning. But right off the bat, your ego is stopping it. Competitive energy. But you're literally, legitimately battling yourself. You got to let your guard down a little bit. Because there's somebody coming at you guys, or vice versa, however it resonates to you. And they're no longer in, in sabotage energy. But you kind of are. So it's a little bit of a hold up. I don't think it, the spirit's going to block it, but it's going to be harder to hear this one out if you don't accept. So I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. Because you got this new path right here. It's like you got the inner knowing, okay? You have this new start. So it's my Leos that have a little bit of a blockage, okay? And some of you might be like, I'm a Leo and I don't have blockage. It's the other person. Okay, then, then so be it. All right, because I just felt your little feisty ass. So slow your roll, girlfriend. Slow your roll, okay? Tell me about the page of water. I mean, sorry, I keep doing that. Holy crap. Um, Just Leo's in general plays a lesson. Leo's next two weeks, next couple weeks, first half of March. Leo, Leo. This is forgiving. This is forgiving yourself. This is accepting. This is pushing through. This is knowing that there's something bigger there. There's feelings, okay? This is, you have that inner knowing okay so yeah change i understand that nothing can grow and involve without movement okay so it's like you gotta whatever my leos are holding on to you gotta let it go and honesty you know you can't always expect it to others but you can expect it to yourself so this means it's these are your lessons right now is going through this change 
and accepting that somebody's actually being honest with you or you have to be honest with yourself and get yourself out of this energy. Okay. Um, I do want a lesson for the page of water. <clears throat> because I don't, this is not your energy. This is somebody coming at you. This is obviously somebody you know. Okay, courage. So this person coming at you is going to need courage and vice versa in our reality. Okay. Because of whatever happened here. So it's tricky because somebody's in sabotage energy and, and somebody's not. We still have combative energy here. And again, I don't think the divine is going to stop it, but it's going to be a lot harder for you to persevere and push through and get on this path if you don't start changing your perspective now. So I'm telling you, with the high priestess here, it's not even like a secret. It could be with the, all this aces coming out with honesty, but to me, it's, it's being honest with yourself. What do you want? Where do you want to go? How's, how's the future look for you? Is this person worthy? Vice versa. You know, it's, it's all that questioning energy. But again, as the high priestess, I'm telling you, you know where your path is leading you. But you're still stuck in this. Or this is the other person, vice versa. Okay. Um, they'll pull you your best advice. Best advice for my Leos. You got the ace of water and the knight of water. All right. So it's falling in love. It's a resurface of a relationship. So it's your past coming back around the corner. All right. And again, falling in love. I need to balance your emotions. All right. So I'm, hello. Hello. All right. So this could be a brand new soulmate that you had a past life with for some that you haven't met yet. Give it a chance and don't let your past sabotage your future. That's for a small few. Because to me, it's just that charming energy coming back around the corner. Someone's got a lot to talk about, okay? Um, and it's taking them the courage, you know, not to sabotage the situation. But you're going to look at it and probably sabotage because of your energy or vice versa, okay? So it's just important that this love is definitely resurfacing. Something's definitely coming back around the corner. Your best advice is, you know, fall in love again. Some of you, it's a new home. Okay, travel, being in the spotlight. But um, I think my biggest message, honest to God, is for my Leos is to get yourself out of this petty. Get yourself out of this not wanting to fight for it no more stuff because it's your past. And there's obviously feelings and emotional chaos here because it's the Five of Cups. Again, I don't think spirit is going to hold anything up, but it's going to be a lot harder for you you know, maybe you need that forgiveness first. I, I don't know, but how about you forgive yourself, even if you're not willing to forgive, okay? Because until we can get rid of this battle right here, this waits, okay? Um, and you're like, oh, how am I supposed to do that? You know, emotionally, what works for you? You know, talking to spirit or um, cleansing, saging, you know, just more vibrant, positive thoughts, you know, switching, switching your own energy so you feel the momentum, so you, so you keep moving and you don't worry about this and you, you don't have this, these thoughts lingering, okay, because right now, these thoughts are not benefiting you in any way, okay, um, they're just not, so I do want best one card best advice for the five of water so maybe that can help you okay five of water best card to get out of this five of water <laughs> ego petty sorrow it's not easy guys okay five of water best advice to get out of it please best advice for the five of water it's a tool yeah all right being able to make a, a decision, a stalemate, pretending that there's no problem. See what I'm saying? So there's no way you don't know that there's not a problem. You clearly know what this problem is, okay? So the best, and it's a stalemate. See, I told you. So it's kind of, I can't stand when I say that because I don't mean it to sound like that. When I And when I say it like that, please don't take offense to that at all. Um, But it's I think because I kind of question myself sometimes. So I don't know if it's spirit telling me like I told you. You know what I mean? So I, I don't know what it's all about. But it's a, it's a stalemate right now because someone's pretending like there's not a problem. And there is. So the best thing you can do for yourself is 
Acknowledge what's happening. If it's emotional, feel it, accept it, but don't let the emotions control you. Okay? You have to get yourself out of this energy. And it's tough. So that's your best advice. Accept it. Acknowledge what's bothering you, okay? And work on that. As long as they know, as long as the divine knows you're working on something and you're partaking, they will get you out of this energy. Okay? So be smart, my little lions, okay? You got something beautiful coming at you. You just got to get out of this energy, but it's on you, all right? Step into the light. Step into it, okay? I love you guys so much. Have a great day. Bye. Have a great first couple weeks, too. <laughs> Bye, guys.